Tessa. Are I've you been in trouble with the law again, Trey? I told you not to. No, I have a much bigger problem right now. Okay, what? What is it? I have a girlfriend. Okay. And Valentine's Day is coming up. Okay, and? And I just need your advice. Do you have any ideas on what you want to do? I had a few things in mind. Tessa, my thought process is way up there. Oh. Straight to Let me use you for my example, Tessa. I'd start off by picking her up. On my bike, duh. On the way to dinner, we will ride in complete silence, for dramatic effect, of course. Then we arrive at the finest establishment in town, McDonald's. Being the gentleman that I am, I let her pay for the both of us, of course, and then I take her to a very quiet place so we can have a nice chat during dinner. We'll have the greatest conversation of all time, followed by a little bit of flirting. Or not. Then I let her walk home so she can burn off all of the calories that she just ate. I'm so thoughtful. No, I'm not doing this. I'm not walking home. She's gonna hate this. Just get her a teddy bear and flowers. Tessa, I'm so nervous right now. She's gonna love it. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna hide behind the building just to see her face when she gets that big teddy bear. Okay. It'll be fine. Go. Happy Valentine's Day. Um, I'm allergic to flowers and I do not like chocolate. You should have taken me to McDonald's. But I'll take the bear anyways. Tessa? Whoops. Are you tired of downloading different apps for every aspect of your life? Did you just download another pointless app that your best friend recommended to you and you have no idea how it even works? We, we have just a thing, thing for you. you! I've been using it for years now and has a huge impact on my life. It's called My Awesome Brain! My Awesome Brain helps me stay connected to the people that I care about the most, including my friends and family. And not those random strangers that I just met five minutes ago asking me to give them gifts on their farm bill. Thanks, my awesome brain. In my awesome brain, I don't have to know everything I don't want to know. Like someone's relationship status or every time a celebrity goes to the bathroom. <laughs> Tessa, do you hear that Jake and Kimberly are back together? No, because I don't care. Thanks, my awesome brain. The best part about my awesome brain is that it has been designed to work with many other apps, including my awesome legs. When the weather is iffy outside, choosing an outfit can be tough. That's when I use my awesome legs to take me outside. Then my awesome brain scans signals such as clouds, sun, and rain to give me an idea on what to wear that day. Thanks, awesome brain. Side effects may include sudden increase in intelligence, social skills, self-efficiency, and imagination. Unfortunately, it may lower your Candy Crush score immensely. The Humane Society of the United States is the nation's largest animal protection organization. Since 1954, the HSUS has been fighting for the protection of animals through advocacy, education, and hands-on programs. And the shocking number of animal cruelty cases that are reported daily are just the tip of the iceberg. Most animal cruelty cases are never even reported, and most animal suffering goes unrecognized. But fortunately, tons of cases are reported. The Humane Society cares and rescues for tens of thousands of animals every year, but their primary mission is to stop the cruelty before it occurs. And thanks to this organization, many animals have been saved and are still being saved to this day. And Tessa, I want to be part of this organization. Then it's time to volunteer, Trey. I'm Tessa. And I'm Trey with BDTV. Here in Polk County, we are lucky enough to have our own shelter. The Humane Society of Polk County is a nonprofit organization funded solely by public donations. And Tess and I are so pleased to announce that the Humane Society of Polk County has just purchased their newest property located on Dundee Road. With their new location, they also need new volunteers. This is true. Volunteering is not only a great thing to do for their benefit, but it can also help you with community service hours for school. They have in-shelter volunteering like dog watching, kennel cleaning, adoption desk support, animal socialization, and adoption follow-up calls. Trey, what's your favorite animal? Well, Tessa, I love puppies. Do you want to know why? They are cute, they're adorable, they play with me all the time, and they love me when you don't. That's true. Well, you should adopt one. 
I showed. Adopting is another great way to help these animals. At the Humane Society, each animal will be observed and evaluated before going up for adoption. They view euthanasia with mixed emotions. The animals must be killed is a difficult burden to bear, but diseased, frightened, or even injured animals trying to survive in a hostile community are infinitely worse. Now more than ever, they need the help and support of animal lovers like yourselves to help them build a new safe haven for the animals in our community. Together, we can achieve even more in 2014. Please join them in celebrating animals and confronting cruelty by making a special donation online today at humanesociety.org and volunteering at your local shelter. have phones at school. Trey, I heard the call. What's going on? Take it back to the arena. Explain the rules on the way. Make your next move. There's no skipping allowed. Tessa, I got him! Here. He doesn't have his ID on. You know what that means. You're going to the arena. No, please. Yep. You're going. You're no. going. Trey, I wonder if the kids regret getting in trouble. Do you think they're nervous for the game to start? Probably, but maybe they'll think next time they do something bad. May the odds be ever in your favor the next time that you get sent to the arena. Heart disease is the number one cause of death in men and women in the United States and claims almost one million lives every year. Unfortunately, not enough people know hands-only CPR, which could help lower this number. I'm Trey. And I'm Tessa, here to tell you more about how this simple process could save lives. Hands-only CPR requires only two steps. The first step is to call 911. And the second step is to go to the center of the chest and push hard and fast. When someone around you starts to have a heart attack, they only have two to four minutes until their brain shuts down. And only four to six minutes until that person dies. It's because of this short amount of time, it's imperative to act fast. When calling 911, you need to make sure that you stay on the phone until the operator tells you to hang up. It is important to be specific about the situation and make sure they know where your location is. So what's the point of even learning hands-only CPR? Because nearly 400,000 out-of-hospital cardiac arrests happen every year in the United States. Sadly, 89% of the people that have an out-of-hospital cardiac arrest die because they do not get immediate CPR from the people around them. And hands-only CPR has been said to be just as effective as conventional CPR and sudden cardiac arrests taking place in anywhere like home, school, a workplace, or any public event. Hands-only CPR can double or even triple the chance of a victim's survival. Take on this challenge to learn this simple yet life-saving procedure. I'm Trey. And I'm Tessa. And next time, Winter Haven, you can be the hero. <laughs>